What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Something a little bit different today. We are looking at a brand new Euro 2024 option file for Pez 2021 from the boys over at Pez Universe. Just a bit of a showcase, just a bit of a tutorial, and obviously to see exactly how to set it up, you've got two options, and, and just to kind of show it off, right? So, you've got two options here with the competition, you can choose a cup mode, and you can create a fully customizable, with the logo and everything like that, a fully customizable Euro 2024 competition here, with a third place playoff, and you're going to be overwriting the Konami Cup here, obviously you just install it as normal, I'm sure you'll find instructions over on uh, the boys' website, but we're just going to be taking a look at a video here. I'll probably play a playthrough of this if you guys are interested in that. Let me know. Obviously, there is a bit of a hype there with the Euro 2024 competition kicking off today with Germany and Scotland. And that's probably who we're going to start with here. Now, you will see that all the kits, all the teams, everything has been updated. We'll see a couple of screenshots at the end of the video. And in the introduction as well, you would have seen that as well. But essentially, when you do start on this one with the group stage, you will need to manually update all of these teams. So this is just a custom cup that you can have club teams and, you know, uh, international teams mixed. It doesn't really matter. But you will need to, you know, put all the teams over yourself as you're seeing me do here. Just simply go down to Europe and obviously put in the teams as you see fit, which whatever groups you want. You can, you know, change the groups. You can stick to a traditional format. You can do the realistic groups that are on and kicking off tonight, which is Friday the 14th. But you will essentially be updating all of these and you can do this all yourself. It'll take you about two minutes to do it. And obviously this is just going to be a custom cup option with all the updated squads, kids, play styles, everything. I know that they've done a lot of work on this so fair play keeping pez 2021 alive and then obviously this is going to be what it looks like after you've edited it and you've got all your six groups done perfectly here so germany we're going to be playing with here in group one and then obviously you will have a group stage winners of the group come out second place come out as well and then obviously they will advance to the knockout stage so let's let me know if you guys would be interested in looking at a couple of videos of this we might do a playthrough one or two teams this is what the main menu will look like. It's very basic, obviously, with PES 2021. There was very basic kind of cup setups, but at least you could do cup setups and offline cups like this. So that is what that one looks like. The second way of doing it is to go into the official UEFA Euro 2020 competition. And this will be a little bit more streamlined for you. You'll have the introductions. You'll have the scoreboards. It will just be set to European teams. So you can swap these out, these teams out. Very same process that we just did. It's just way easier, way stream, more streamlined. But you cannot update the UEFA Euro 2020 logo as you see here in the top left hand side of the screen and any of the graphics because obviously when PES 2021 launched it did have the official UEFA Euro license so it had the Euro 2020 and then obviously you could have the teams in that now in this as well it's still the same updates it's still the same option file you're using the same things this is basically just two ways of setting up two separate competitions or two separate cups but again, this is what it will look like. You'll have a couple of the graphics there from Euro 2020, but you will not have the new uh, Euro uh, logo and that can't be customized in this one here, obviously, because it's licensed. Um, so you will have a lot of, you know, different things. You'll have the scoreboards, you'll have the, the different animations and the graphics from the cutscenes and stuff. But essentially, you're going to be playing the same thing, right? So this is what it will look like from the main menu here. So that is it. The group stage, same rules apply. Group stage, top two get out, then the knockout stage, and then so on until whoever lifts the cup. 
So let's let me know if you guys would be interested in this and also pop below in the channel uh, in the comments what team you would like me to use. I'm going to leave you with just a couple of screenshots. As far as I know, everything has been updated. Kits, squads, tactics, formations, players. There's 200 players edited. I'm sure you'll find all the release info here. But you can see some of the kits here look really, really nice, obviously. Um, as a third and fourth option of the kits will be the home and away for every single team. Uh, you know, stats have been up done, updated. They've done hero cards as well. So it's like three or four hero cards per squad. So the likes of Modric and Chris. Cristiano Ronaldo uh, and players like that will have boosted stats so that they're kind of dominating further countries. Just a bit of a different one. It is a standalone file from what they've told me. So yeah, that is it, man. Keeping PES 2021 alive, as I said, and I keep saying, let me know if you guys would be interested in this or if you're just done with PES 2021. I mean, I still go back and play PES 2021 here and there some, sometimes. Um, the offline game is still nice. I don't think the gameplay, obviously, is as fluid. Um, but there is nicer aspects of the gameplay as well compared to eFootball nowadays offline. So let me know what you guys think. Enjoy the file if you do check it out and obviously support the boys as well. Um, you know, I, I do miss the days of editing that much. But yeah, I mean, this is a good job that the boys have done, Cara and Alistair. And of course, the kids from Nono as well. I will leave that in the description below. But yeah, everything has been updated and including in that as well. Um, they have obviously redone all the formations, tactical formations, tactics, advanced tactics, advanced instructions. Every team handles and plays differently uh, when they have the ball compared to when they're out of possession. There was a lot of tactical stuff you could do in PES 2021. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of it. I will talk to you in a little bit. And there is Cristiano Ronaldo. I mean, I would like to do one with Cristiano, man, and see how far we could go with Mr. Sue. But let me know what you guys think. Obviously, every team is covered there as well. And there's a couple of in-game shots just coming up as well. So I'll let that round off. Let me know what you guys think, as I keep saying. Until next time, we'll be back with some eFootball 2024. And I will talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I will talk to you later. Peace.